I don't think there's any need to belabor the, the point or the this discussion too much longer other than to bring sort of to a close what the county's position is on this case. Uh, the testimony has been clear and unrebutted that and, and admitted to actually by uh, Lieutenant Rollins that he did violate the policy 102.005 subsection uh, Roman numeral 4 7 and that's what he was charged with violating by um, Chief Coffin. Chief Coffin explained to you the, the other violations, the county merit rule violations, that being the um, conduct or actions which interfere with the effective or efficient performance of the department's responsibilities and the willful neglect in the performance of the duties. And I think he did a good job, uh, Chief Coffin did a good job of explaining what was in his mind when he came to the conclusion that Captain Rollins had violated those policies. Uh, there's no dispute that he went, went around to the stations and picked up uh, controlled substance in an improper manner. There's no dispute that that was a very serious thing that caused a lot, caused concern for the paramedics that were asked to do it, as well as asked to sign a form that wasn't true. I think Chief Pozo did a good job of explaining to you, as well as the other witnesses, the importance of that accounting and tracking of controlled substances. And ultimately, the um, the, the top of the, the chain that on that is that uh, the medical director's license can be in jeopardy if it's not properly done. Um, because there is no dispute as to what Lieutenant Rollins did that day and that it was a violation of policy, we would ask you to find that he violated the policy and as well as the merit rules. He did not perform his duties effectively and efficiently. Uh, in one instance, you heard the testimony from paramedic Lucas that he went to a call that he was on to collect these drugs and, and that just lends itself to allegations of misappropriation and things of that nature. Luckily, that didn't happen in this case. Uh, the drugs were not properly destroyed for two days after they were collected. They sat in the sharps container. You know, you've seen the container. It can be opened by anybody. It's not locked, although on the trucks they're required to be kept under double lock and key. The seriousness of this violation can't be uh, emphasized enough. With regards to the punishment, the county would ask you to uphold his uh, reduction from a captain to a lieutenant, his demotion. Um, clearly, he could have been terminated for this. Um, Chief Coffin used the, the terminology that these logs were falsified, and in effect they were, although he was not charged with falsifying the logs. Uh, that's, that was the effect of what he directed his subordinates to do. Um, so we would ask you to find that he violated the policies that are listed in the letter of demotion, and also to uphold the action taken by Chief Coffin because it is supported by the evidence, and it is certainly within the um, possible or probable penalties for this type of violation. Um, they recognize his strong, long and, um, and good service to the fire services department. That's part of what's supposed to happen with discipline in Volusia County. And so we believe it was an appropriate penalty for the uh, violations that occurred. Thank you.